hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do a look for thanksgiving thanksgiving is next week uh this is my favorite time of year i love thanksgiving i love christmas i love new years um getting together with the family spoiling my kids you know it's just my favorite time of the year so i wanted to do a glam pretty look for thanksgiving to give you guys some ideas of how you could glam yourself up um, most of us end up sitting in our couch looking fly as hell, um, you know, just to eat. But that's part of the tradition, right? So I wanted to do a look that was versatile, could go with any type of look. So you could even, you know, do like a red lip, a pop of color with this look. So it pretty much can go with all skin tones, all skin types. And you can pretty much adjust it to fit your makeup style. But I hope you guys love it. I actually wore this look um, not like about maybe three, four days ago. And so many people were asking me what shadow I was wearing, what I was using. So um, I was like, you know what? This is what we're going to do for Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys love this look. And if you want to see how I did this, then please keep on watching. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to use the P. Louise Base Pro in shade number two uh called rumor i've been using it for a while now and it's really amazing it has like a thick concealer type of texture and i like to pat it on so once i have that primer on i'm not gonna set it or anything i'm just gonna go straight in and for the palette, the eyeshadow palette I'm using today is Morphe's, um, Morphe's, <laughs> is Morphe 35R palette. Um, I've, I've used this palette before. I'm like obsessed with these shades that are pretty much done. So um, I'm basically going to use this shade right here as like my transition shade. But I love the tones in this palette. Um, and they're so pigmented and blend really nicely. And I'm going to use this brush. Clearly, it's like my ride or die brush. But any type of fluffy brush like this will do. So I'm just going to start patting it into my crease. And if you guys watch my videos, you, you know I talk about how I don't really like to set my eyelid. Um, just because I just feel like I get more pigment this way. Then now I'm going to pick up my Morphe M441 brush. I talked about this brush before. I really love it for like um, getting more depth into the crease area. So for that, I'm going to grab um, this shade right here this reminds me a lot of texture from mac but it's like a little bit more orangey but it has like that sparkle to it but not it's not glittery it's so so pretty like i absolutely love it um and i'm just gonna grab that and put that in the crease right on top of what we just did now this doesn't really make it much darker this just gives me like a nice shade between the two They just complement each other. Then I'm gonna go back in with that same brush I had before and just blend it out. Now I'm going to grab this Sigma E70 brush, which is basically, basically, basically an angled brush, like that fluffy angled brush. And I'm gonna grab this light bone colored shadow. Now, I like to use this just to kind of clean up the brow area, the brow bone. Um, so this also really helps with um, blending. So I'm going to just put that right along. And I love how fluffy this brush is. It just fits with the contour of the eye. And this is what I use to just kind of blend out that crease and bring it down a little bit if I feel like it's a little bit too high. Um, but I love to do this little trick. You can see the difference already. Like it just makes your brow bone pop. And then I'm going to go back in with that same brush, that fluffy brush and just really light handed. I'm not even grabbing any product, just whatever was on my brush and just kind of 
merging all those tones together so we have like a nice diffused look don't worry about that that could get cleaned up i already have my foundation on um if you want to see how i did my foundation you can go check out my instagram full makeup tutorial where i show you guys how i do my full coverage foundation i'm gonna go and grab that same p louise base and just a little bit and i'm going to pat that on my lid now i love this is basically i'm gonna apply some shadow some glitter not glitter but like shimmery shadows and i've been doing this and it's so amazing i mean this is used for cut creases and stuff like that so um i absolutely love it so this is max pigment in naked now you can skip this step or you could even leave it like this the reason i don't know if you can see like how it looks but it's like a really pretty soft like shimmery shadow it has a little bit of that fine glitter but i put that so that um the next color that i put on wouldn't look so yellow and what i put on top of this is the fenty beauty's trophy wife which you guys could see it's already hit and pan i love this stuff it's so amazing and i just saw that they're about to come out with some more stuff uh, with this gold shade so i'm definitely gonna be checking that out but this is like such multi-use i use this as eyeshadow all the time um so i'm gonna grab that same um mac 242 the same brush i've been using for everything on the lid and i'm just gonna go right on top now the reason why i added that base just because i don't want this to be like too too gold um i just wanted to have that base but you can skip that if you don't care about that or you could even leave the the this portion of it like that and just put this in the center. Um, but I'm just doing this the way I did the other day where everybody was like super in love. And I'm just going to blend that out so that we have a nice, nice blended look. Today I was in the mood for a wing. So for that, I'm going to grab my Maybelline Eye Studio. In black is black, you guys know I love this liner. Yeah, I already know my Tata lashes, which I absolutely love. Now these are the in the style Aria. And I love how like natural but still glam they look. Um, it's not like too much. Because you know most people you want to look pretty. I mean you could do what you want at Thanksgiving. I love dressing up. But it's nice to be comfortable too. And you don't always want to look like you try too hard. So you want to be like glam. But you know there's a time and place for certain looks. So I like to keep my makeup more on the neutral pretty glam. I usually use um, Hourglass's um, stick foundation, but I actually have to get more. So for today, I'm going to use Cover Effects Total Cream Foundation. So I'm going to apply this first. Now, like I told you guys, I just like that super full coverage. The reason why I love to apply some type of cream and then the liquid concealer is because for me it just holds up my concealer way better it lasts longer and it looks amazing in pictures you don't have to do this this type of style is not for everyone and i like to bring it down to like the sides of my mouth just to brighten up the whole face i'm gonna switch it up a little bit i'm gonna grab the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in natural beige this is gonna help highlight my cheekbones and um this is pretty much all the highlighting i'm doing before i bronze and contour so a little bit on the nose my chin and just and i'm gonna grab my derma blend and um you know you want to set this right away you So I'm going to go in with Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in Dark. Um, I love to use this 
with the F25 brush, which is like a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this basically to warm up my skin and put some color back into my skin. And I'm just gonna mainly do this in areas where I plan to contour. Just like that. And then I'm gonna grab um, this MAC Original 116 brush and the shade Blunt from MAC, which is like this. It's like a cool, cool tone brown and I love to use this to contour. For today's blush, I'm gonna go in with my blush palette. I spoke about this palette in many of my videos. And to blend out my blush, I'm gonna use KKW's Brighten Powder in number three. how it looks matte but we're gonna add a gloss because you know we extra like that so we top that off and this is pretty much the completed look I hope that you guys love this makeup look and like always if you love this video please give me a thumbs up leave me some comments down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video mm -hmm.